If you've watched competitive Smash, you probably know about Tweak. He's been one of the best players in the world for a while. He's won huge tournaments like the Super Stacked MKLeo Saga in Smash 4, or the Super Stacked Frostbite 2019 in Ultimate. What you might not know is that Tweak started out as a Bowser Jr. main. Well, Bowser Jr. main is kind of an understatement. He was THE Bowser Jr. main. No one in Smash 4 would match what he did with the character. Over the course of Smash 4, he'd move up the tier list and in the process become the best at a handful of characters, most notably Donkey Kong, Cloud, and Bayonetta. He became one of the best to play all these characters. When Ultimate came around, Tweak was already a multi-character master. And in a bigger and much more balanced cast, Tweak was about to take his character pool to another level. Krom, Young Link, Wario, Wolf, Pokemon Trainer, Roy, and Joker, Tweak picked them all up and played them better than most of their dedicated players could. He threw in a bit of DK, K. Rool, Diddy Kong, and Banjo just for fun too. That's crazy, even for ultimate standards. So, just how is Tweak one of the best in the world at pretty much any character he chooses? Before we answer that question, let's talk pro guides. If you haven't checked out ProGuides.com, you definitely should. We've got courses from pros, helpful videos, and live coaching. Now we're also streaming lessons on this channel, and we've got a Discord to help you find friendlies. Like so many top Smash 4 and Ultimate players, Tweak's history begins way earlier. According to a Twitlonger Tweak wrote, he started in the Brawl and Melee days. He didn't quite get the hang of Brawl, but he was a surprisingly good Luigi main in Melee. Even in those days, he showed great knowledge of Luigi's timings. Tweak wouldn't show off his true skill until he played Smash 4 and Bowser Jr. At the time, most people thought of Bowser Jr. as a low tier. However, Tweak could see that people didn't truly understand how to play the game with Bowser Jr. This is the first reason why Tweak can master so many characters. He sees each character as a different window into the game. That meant Tweak played Bowser Jr. more combo and punish focused than most would. Not just because Bowser Jr.'s combo game was his best attribute, but because it was his win condition. Bowser Jr. needed strong vertical chains to build rapid damage and tricky follow-ups and clown car movement to get kills. Tweak carries his style onto each character he plays, but he also changes his style to suit the character. As an example, we can compare how he plays Roy and Joker in Ultimate. When he plays Roy, he understands that the character's tools suit a high-pressure, rushdown style. In his win over Mars, he's constantly moving, pressuring, and yep, even mashing a few buttons. For really fast characters like Roy, Krom, and Game & Watch, spamming one option can provoke another without getting punished. Here, Tweak provokes the roll by forward-tilting in normal getup range. Then, he reaction punished the roll to take the stock. On the other hand, when he plays Joker, he's a shameless camper! The truth is, against some characters, Joker's optimal strategy can be to camp until getting Arsene. That was even more true before they nerfed Joker's down gun. So against a buzz, Tweak bullies Olimar, raining bullets and side bees on him while out of Pikmin's reach. Then when he gets Arsene, he goes in to dominate neutral and build damage. Seeing these two matches side by side, you might think they were two different players. That's Tweak's ability to read his character and shape his own strengths and style around them, and that's pretty nuts. Even most other top-level competitors can't do that. They just play characters that fit their main style. DeBuzz uses Rosa and Olimar, two characters with great advantage states who can really control space and apply pressure from afar. MKLeo consistently plays characters with great aerial mobility and spacing tools. As Tweak's career went on, he'd outgrow Bowser Jr. and replace his old main with three new picks, Cloud, Donkey Kong, and Bayonetta. Bowser Jr. had served him well, and even got him wins over names like Larry Lur and Mr. E. However, Tweak knew he needed to move on. And that brings us to the second reason why Tweak is so good at so many characters. He has a deep understanding of the meta and the game's mechanics. Being a multi-character master is more than maining the random button. It's picking characters that cover each other's weaknesses and work well together. In Smash 4 and Ultimate, Tweak does a great job of identifying strong characters who each fill a different niche. In the case of Smash 4, Cloud could do what Bowser Jr. did, but better. And then Bayonetta could do a lot of that, and also zero to death people. By switching to Cloud and then Bayonetta, Tweak had every matchup in the game covered. DK might seem like the odd man out, but the meta is still driven by the players, by the human element. DK and Bowser were both very cheesy characters that could win off of one grab and surprise opponents, especially really good opponents. 
He beat MKLeo at three different big events with Smash 4 DK. At Shine 2017, at Smash 4 Boot Camp, and at the Man Zone Saga. Like, come on, leave him alone. Leo's patient and smart aggression allows him to get big openings without rushing things. It's a great style usually, but against the Smash 4 grapplers, it just gives more time and more opportunities to get a grab. Tweak's got that same great read on Ultimate's engine. You can hear it in how he talks about how Ultimate buffs Wario. I'm in tournament, but the jump squat stuff makes up air walk yes. work for so long. And and just the three stocks is a great environment for like Wario to you like get first and last. Yeah. Walk. yeah and, and most of the characters he's played are high or top tier. They also cover a range of matchups. Wario can struggle with disjoints and speed, but Roy won't. Tweak can go a little too far sometimes and jump into a match using a character he's rusty on. Sometimes, his ability to play everybody well hurts his mentality with his mains, but hey, he's only human. In the end game of Smash 4, Tweak's three characters served him well. He ended the game ranked second overall, but that's not all. He ended as one of the best mains for four different characters. Tweak's quick character optimization leads us to the third reason Tweak is a multi-character master. He has incredibly refined advanced movement and combo skill. A lot of people would just call this fundamentals. Fundamentals is a pretty good shorthand term if you want to sum up a lot of skill really quickly, but it's a bad term to use if you want to dissect why someone's good. In this case, Fundamentals also cheapens what Tweak is doing. The things Tweak does aren't just building blocks from playing Smash a lot. They're very precise, advanced inputs earned through years of deliberate practice. These advanced mechanics are also things that other top 50 players can't do consistently. I can go forward here. Comes down with a fair. Pivot grab to perfectly cover the directional air dodge, which is something a lot of people are still bad at. That pivot grab Leffen's talking about is so fast that you can easily miss it. Here it is frame by frame. It's not just pivot grabs either, it's wave bounce specials to counter punch. It's really fast and deceptive double jumps. Insane understanding of hitboxes. It's super finely tuned aerial drifts that makes any character harder to read. These kinds of mechanics transfer over to every character. But it's more than that. These mechanics unlock the potential of every character if they're used properly. This is how Tweak can make it look like he solo mains a character when he's only put in a week or two of practice. It's also how Tweak could start ultimate with Krom, then switch to Wolf, then add a Young Link secondary, then switch to Pokemon Trainer, then add a Roy secondary, then add a Joker secondary, then pick up Palutena for Wi-Fi tournaments, all while actually maining Wario. All right. You're probably sold on why Tweak is a multi-character master. But there's a final fourth factor to his mastery. He doesn't just see characters for their best tools and broken moves. He figures out ways to use their weaknesses too. To understand how Tweak uses a character's weak spots really well, look at how often he grabs with Roy. Tweak grabs this much despite the fact that Roy gets very little true combos off of his throws. After Melee Marth happened, Sakurai realized that Fire Emblem characters with good grabs are super broken. So now they're usually balanced by a subpar grab game. However, Tweak has played so many characters that he knows you need to maximize the grab game to have a good offense. That's because grabs beat shield, and shield is the only frame one defensive option for most characters. So, if a character is landing and expects to see Roy's frame 5 jab or frame 8 forward tilt, they'll shield. Then, they'll either punish or disengage. They just need one frame of breathing room to beat Roy's fastest hitbox. A grab will beat shield, and lots of grabs can catch falling or jumping opponents and stuff a move before a hitbox loads. If most characters only have one to three frames to act, they'll shield because it's their only option. That makes grab a great choice to catch really tight punish windows, even for a character with minimal follow-ups. Tweak will radically change his style to match a character, but at the same time, he'll apply the wide skill set he's gained from other characters and flesh out underutilized parts of the character's kit. That's why it's exciting to see Tweak pick up a character. You're gonna see an optimized and unique version of that character. So, that wraps up why Tweak can play so many characters. Here it is to recap. 1. Tweak plays to the character's preferred style. 2. Tweak analyzes the meta and game very well. 3. Tweak has very refined advanced movement skills. And 4. Tweak optimizes weaknesses and general utility as well as strengths. Those four reasons are why Tweak is one of the best multi-main players in Smash history. But Tweak's career raises another pretty big question. Why play so many characters in the first place? Tweak is an incredible player, and his multiple mains only make his skill more impressive and unique. But the other top 10 players only get similar success and play one or two characters seriously. 
Samsora ranks above Tweak and uses Peach 90% of the time. Mars and Samsora have beaten Leo's Joker convincingly, something Tweak has never done. And Mars and Samsora did it using just their main. The reality is, playing several characters is a trade-off. By maining a lot of characters, you gain a lot. You get a better matchup spread. At Frostbite 2020, Tweak switched to Wolf to beat T's Pac-Man. You also get better at important matchups. Tweak has only lost one set to Gluttony, the highest ranked solo Wario main. That one set he lost was in a low-stakes tournament where he only played Diddy Kong. Tweak knows Wario, so he knows the matchup. And you maximize more parts of your game. Tweak's great grab game goes back to Donkey Kong. Tweak's crazy creative combo game goes all the way back to Junior. However, for all that, you lose some time. Time spent on that one character. Time spent grinding bad matchups into good ones. Time spent turning losses into wins. In Tweak's case, you can gain doubt as well and begin overthinking counterpicks. Looking at Tweak's entire career, his big roster makes him one of Smash's most versatile and volatile players. He can counter almost any style and has winning or even set records with almost every other top 10 player. But every blue moon, he'll fall apart and get an uncharacteristic 33rd or 25th at a major. That could be more mentality than roster, but sometimes it's a bad combination of both, with Tweak losing a critical game off a character pick that didn't pan out. At the end of the day, we can't say it's a good idea to play so many characters at a competitive level, but we can say that it's a good thing Tweak does. Tweak's versatility and command of the game engine defines him as a player and makes him unique. Every top player shines in the right moment, but Tweak shines like no one else. His skill feels even more stark because he can easily spread across the cast. His tournament runs feel more exciting because they're unpredictable, and he breathes a new kind of life into each character with the way he optimizes them. And honestly, Smash is pretty lucky to have a competitor like that. Thanks so much for watching, and what do you think? Do multiple mains help or hurt top players? Let us know in the comments, and if you like our videos, please support us by visiting ProGuides.com, subscribing to our channel, liking the video, or even joining the ProGuides community through live streams and Discord.